Hello, everyone. It's Tuesday. It's 4 p.m. Eastern, at least. Uh, so we're getting together as a community. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome to uh, the live events on Mortgage.Community. If you're listening to this on replay, that's awesome. I'd love to get you here live on the event. Um, welcome to those joining today. Um, every Tuesday we meet from 4 to 4.30 p.m. Eastern. Uh, unless there's something else going on that's distracting me and taking me away from the community. Uh, and we usually have a topic, but this is always a uh, community conversation. So uh, welcome, Kim. Uh, Kim, I don't want to. Uh, so welcome. We'll just leave it like that. So um, <laughs> sorry, Chris, where's my hello? Like you're, you're totally leaving me hanging. Usually you're in here and you're like, hey, Larry, what's up? Uh, so today's topic is all about pipeline views and dashboards. Hey, Kim. Hola. So today's topic is all about pipeline views and dashboards. I'm sure everybody's got pipeline views, and I'm sure everybody's got plenty of users who love to create their own pipeline views and drive us admins kind of wonky when they like, my pipeline view doesn't work, or, hey, how come so-and-so can see this loan, but I can't? Um, or in one instance um there are i'm trying not to exaggerate here but there are 40 personas and each persona has about 20 pipeline views and that's not an exaggeration um, those are persona based pipeline views so um we'll get into uh yeah kirsten's like yikes yeah it's a lot it's a lot so i'm going to walk through a couple of concepts and feedback to let you know first of all it's not just you it's not just your company um and what it's really looking like for Encompass Web, I, again, you're going to hear Encompass Web like uh, like word vomit. Um, if you're going to ICE experience, you'll hear it all over the place. Um, and if you listen to me talk enough, you'll hear me say, if you're not really leveraging, I just said this today on our admin course, um, Admins Mastering Encompass. I gave, um, you know, that group is kind of finishing up. There's a bunch of veterans in there. We've got some newcomers to it also but in the uh in the event i talked about the fact that you know as an admin if you're not diving head first into encompass web you're missing out um, you've probably got about another 30 days maybe 60 on the outside um, but if you're not catching up on that or getting ahead of that you're going to be left behind guarantee it uh, so for those that don't know um Encompass is going through uh, 24.1.0.0 so far. Uh, that's going to be dropped into test on March sit on March um, 9th. And I'm going to uh, left my notes out. Beginning of March. Um, and then check the release notes thing. I posted on that on the recordings and the walkthroughs. And then it's coming into it's coming into production in um, April. So I think it's March 6th, April 9th. Um, for some reason, my brain can't see it clearly. And this is important because there's a ton of changes happening that are uh, not only to desktop, but they're also to the web. One of the biggest changes is uh, splitting apart 3142 into two components. One's going to be humda.x something or other. Again, it's in the release notes. It's in my walkthrough. And that's going to be this new trigger point for um, ready for application disclosures for that, separated from the three-day disclosures. Don't know what this is going to look like, but I'm telling everybody who's listening that you need to get your hands on the release notes. You need to talk to your compliance team and work through what this is going to mean on day one. Probably nothing, but maybe not nothing. Um, and uh, for those that are going to be at the ICE experience, I'm sure it's going to be uh, a lot of conversation around what the intended purpose is. Um, I can tell you that the, the true intention is to automate initial disclosures. That's where we're headed natively. You don't need um, any any company's third party plugin for automated disclosures um, later on this year. That's the that's the reality. So if you were thinking about doing automated disclosures and you're about to sign that contract, hold off um, just yet. I mean, if you need it now, maybe you do, but it's an expensive thing to have to, uh, to commit to right now when uh, we are very close. So. Anyway, um, we're not here to talk about that. Does anyone have any questions? Does anyone have any troubleshooting they want to go through? Again, these are community meetings. I know you guys usually like to hear me talk, which is crazy. Um, I like to hear what you're uh, banging up against and trying to solve for things. Um, that way, I feel like I'm actually doing something. Um, so if you have anything, you can use the chat. Um, that's great. 
Uh, I'm going to give two big plugs out. Um, first of all, if you happen to be going to uh, Lenders One Summit, um, I'll be there Sunday to Wednesday next week. Um, that's in LA. If you're not going to that, uh, and if you're not part of Lenders One, by the way, they're doing a big promo where it's no application fee for Lenders One. I think it's it's not that expensive. I think it's fifteen hundred dollars or something. A lot of benefits. There's a lot of things to uh, a lot of advantages to joining the Lenders One Cooperative. So I, I would encourage you if you need a link for it or introduction for it um, or want to know more about it, let me know. Um, I'll get you over to the right person. Do a lot of regional events, and they're there really to help you um, grow and save money ultimately. Um, and then for those going to the ICE events, um, uh, if you're going, um, obviously we've got the wrap up event on Thursday the 21st. That is open to anybody who wants to go from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. local. Uh, it's a come as you are. There's no cost for it. It's a way to debrief. And for those that are not going, what I want you to do is join the ICE X24 space in the mortgage stock community because I'm going to do my best to live stream that whole wrap up event. This way for those that are not going, um, you, can, you can take advantage of that. So I'll go ahead and share that on screen here real quick um, because what I've done is I've broken out all of the sessions um, that I'm aware of at least. I've broken out all those sessions. There we go. Um, in, it's not what I wanna do, there we go. Broken out all those sessions over here. So you basically have to come over into Mastery and Compass uh, you might have to scroll to the bottom of this um, collection of spaces, but find ICE, you can sign up. It's, it's again, it lets you in automatically. Um, but basically, I've built in all of the general sessions, everything in here, including the event. So if you know anybody who's not going to ICE, but they still want to feel connected, uh, definitely join the community, definitely join the space. And we're going to have a scavenger hunt. I'm going to incentivize all of us and all of those that are going to all these different breakouts to make sure they're uploading pictures and recordings and notes and collateral, things that we can hang on to forever um, as a community, um, because it is an important event, but obviously people are what they are. And uh, so um, there you go. So do that. And then again, the wrap up event, my goal is to, is to live stream this whole thing and we can all talk about it collaboratively as a, a community. So more to come on that. Um, and then the last thing is, of course, um, I combined, I don't know if anybody knows this, but I combined admins using, excuse me, admins mastering Encompass and users mastering Encompass. Uh, you can check out all the videos I posted on that, but it's it's a super deal for um, anybody who really wants to understand exactly how to use Encompass um, like a total ace and uh, learn everything that you didn't even realize you didn't know. Having said all that, if you're listening to this, uh, anybody wants to watch more, please come over to Mortgage Talk Community and we can get together on that. So let's talk about what we came to talk about.